and the most reliable. And with Unlimited, you can see video. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, two, three reasons right there. It's exactly three. Okay, sure, whatever you say. If you really, really want the best, switch to Verizon Unlimited and get the Galaxy S8 for just $15 a month. I saw you take those phones, you know. No, you didn't. Her skills are unstoppable. But Wednesday... FBI! Ronda Rousey guest stars on a new blind spot. Wednesday on NBC. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup playoffs presented by Geico. Double overtime in game number two here in Ottawa. The goaltenders tonight and their respective lines. But Brian Boucher, sometimes, in this case, for Craig Anderson, it's about how you handle the puck or mishandle it that could lead to disaster. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is create a turnover for your team that's going to cost you a hockey game. Earlier in the playoffs, he had a turnover against the Bruins that led to a shorthanded goal against. And then as a series wore on in that series he had a couple more but tonight he's had two turnovers that almost cost him this one that was saved by Kyle Turris in the overtime session uh, was a big moment so for Craig Anderson I think less is more when playing the puck and if he can do that and just worry about stopping the puck he'll give his team a chance to win here in game two Ottawa rallying back late in the third period to tie this game force overtime lots of minutes as always for Eric Carlson he and Ryan McDonough anchoring their respective defensive cores. Mika Zibanejad, the former Ottawa Senator, a trade on July 16th involving he and Derek Broussard. They flip-flop teams. They've gone head-to-head -head in this one as we get to the second overtime. Game three will be Tuesday night at Madison Square Garden. Ottawa winning game one, two to one here on Thursday night. Mika Zibanejad, Matt Zuccarello, and Chris Kreider up front for the Rangers. Zach Smith, John Gabriel Pajo has a three-goal game. Mike Hoffman, the forward line for Ottawa. As we get ready for the second overtime, Ryan McDonough through the middle. Zuccarello turned over to Carlson. Wedged out by Ottawa's Mark Mathot. Girardi in front of his own bench. McDonough now. Edmans the puck to Chris Kreider. One of five Ranger goal scores today, and now Zabanajad. Zuccarello out in front. Great defensive play by Eric Carlson. JT Miller protecting that puck along the boards. Carlson's got it. Eric Carlson for Pajo at the Ranger line. He'll send it in. Ottawa in a chain. Holden has plenty of time. Nick Holden back out through center ice for JT Miller. Miller moving in on Dion Phaneuf. He'll circle. They'll move it inside by Derek Step on an odd bounce captured by Nash defended to the outside by CC Nash out in front to the goal crease Nick Holden at the point Miller let it go Derek Step on grind the cycle back lay it along again for Nash Nash away from CC Step on with a shot easily detected by Craig Anderson Dan Girardi played a big part in the New York Rangers defense in that first overtime. Four block shots for the Ranger defenseman. That one was probably the most minor of all of them. And then after that, he was fantastic. Just getting in shooting lanes, laying out, paying a price for Henrik Lundqvist. This was a big block right here with Carlson joining the rush on a three-on-two. Dan Girardi with five block shots on the afternoon, but four in that first overtime. On his 33rd birthday, off the draw now. Taken back. Ben Harper, Ryan Dezingle off the boards, off the linesman, available in neutral ice. It's moved across. Brendan Smith now, shouldered by Ben Harper, goes deep. Frederick Clayson, or checked a bit by Jesper Foss. Bobby Ryan for the Senators. He'll drop it back. Harper through the middle. It's Derek Broussard and back out. This way for Ryan. He'll move it by Smith. Broussard off the stick of Lundquist, captured by Brady Shea. He'll hammer one off the boards through center ice. Kreider has some room. Chris Kreider right out in front. He rolls off his stick. Kreider again forced on the play by Ben Harper. Zuccarello. Freddie Clayson now for Derek Broussard. Through center ice. It goes by McDonough. Icing is called here. And Chris Kreider using his speed to once again create an opportunity for himself. He's had a couple of these chances here this afternoon. He does a good job of driving Ben Harper right there. Harper just at the end 
is able to get enough of them to get that puck poked away from Chris Kreider. But Kreider's been much, much better in this afternoon's game in creating opportunities for himself and using the speed, which is his biggest asset. Playing right to his strengths. And a face-off now in the Ottawa zone. Eric Stepan and Derek Brassard. The Rangers with 48 shots. Ottawa 33. Face off one by Broussard. A steal. Miller out in front off Anderson. It kicks around. Clayson kicks it to the outside. Nash is there for the Rangers. Pajot for Ottawa. They play it along the boards and get it deep. Henrik Lundqvist. This way for Derek Stepan. Hampered a bit by Alex Burrows. And now Girardi will track it down. Nash recollecting it. Rick Nash out to center. Off the boards and back down for Carlson. The Rangers are changing. Eric Carlson away from Stefan. Hajo can't get to it. A force by Foss. A lead pass for Michael Grabner out in front. Nobody home. Nick Holden with a pinch. Golfed out by Burrows. Hajo on the off wing. Wingles out in front of shot. He scores! John Gabriel Pajo hits fourth. Wins it in overtime. game for JG Pajot. Unbelievable. You think about guys that could be heroes on the Ottawa Senators. I don't think you would ever think that it would be JG Pajot that would come to mind. But man, oh man, did he have an afternoon. The New York Rangers trying to keep the puck alive here. Holden pinches. The puck gets by him and it's off to the race. The two on one. Pass taken away by the Ranger defenseman Stahl. The shot to Henrik Lundqvist and Pajot simply beats him. Stahl leaves the shot for Pajot. Pajot snaps his high glove past Henrik Lundqvist. A perfect shot to end it. No pass option whatsoever. Simply just rips it past Henrik Lundqvist to cap off an unbelievable afternoon for the Ottawa Senators. What an effort by J.G. Pajot. Four goals for number 44 at 2.54 of the second overtime. Elation on the Ottawa bench. They lead the series two games to none. Craig Anderson. He and his teammates getting it done on home ice. Game three will be Tuesday night at Madison Square Garden. The Ottawa Senators with a 6-5 win in game number two. John Gabriel Pajot with a game of a lifetime. Four goals. On their 34th shot, Ottawa will send everybody here home happy. Final count in the second overtime. Ottawa on a goal by J.G. Pajot defeats the New York Rangers 6-5. Coming up next, except on the West Coast, it's your local news. For Brian Boucher and our entire crew here in Ottawa, this is John Forslund. Thanks for watching the Stanley Cup playoffs presented by Geico. So long from Ottawa. She thought she was finally free. I'm no longer your asset, Stahl. But tomorrow... He will never stop. Never. Nobody near me is safe. I have shots fired. Officer down. Shades of Blue. New tomorrow on NBC. Get bigger savings on better vehicles this week at Hyundai. Get $47.50 off a new Elantra. That's 20% off the MSRP. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. This is the reason to buy now. Get $67.50 in total savings on a new Sonata. That's 25% off MSRP. Hurry in today. 1977. Disco, bell-bottoms, and Ford F-Series starts its epic run as the best-selling trucks in America.
2017, F-Series is still king for 40 straight years. Why? Rock-solid durability, up to the nanosecond technology, and jaw-dropping capability. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 40 straight years. During Ford Truck Month, get a 2017 F-150 Super Crew with up to 10540 in total savings. Hurry. Get bigger savings on better vehicles this week at Hyundai. Get $47.50 off a new Elantra. That's 20% off the MSRP. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. This is the reason to buy now. Get $67.50 in total savings on a new Sonata. That's 25% off MSRP. Hurry in today. Wendy Rieger and Jim Hanley, working for you on News 4 at 5. Good evening and welcome to the News 4 Power Play. I'm Erica Gonzalez. And I'm Leon Harris. And folks, we are just under an hour away from Game 2 at the Verizon Center. The Washington Capitals taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's right. The puck drops just after 8 o'clock right here on NBC4. And we have team coverage to get you ready. All right, let's get to it. Kira Maloney is inside the Verizon Center. Doug Cameron and Amelia Draper are outside in the heat. Fans out there ready for a win <laughs> big time. Let's begin with Carol right now. Hey, Carol. Hey, you guys. Yeah, the gates just opened and fans are trickling in and we got about an hour and 25 minutes before they drop the puck. And let me be clear because everyone knows what's at stake, but it's not a must win. The players say that comes when you have three losses. The Caps have one loss to the Penguins, but they know what's at stake tonight down a game. The difference in game one, a late third period breakaway goal scored by the Caps killer Nick Bonino. Penguins can not come into Verizon Center and win both games here, right? Well, the guys know the stakes are high, but they're trying to keep their stress level low. I don't think there's any sense freaking out this early. It's one nothing. It's not three nothing. We're, we're, we're fine, but we know what we need to do. Obviously, it's an important game. Obviously, we, um, we knew we can give him a two nothing lead. For us, you know, there's, there's only really one must game in, in, the, in the playoffs is when you're when you got three losses. There's only one must game. So for us, it's, it's about being better. Tonight, we're going to be better. Well, another sentiment they've been saying over and over is own the big moments. And they certainly have one and an opportunity tonight to take and even this series. You can hear the fans. Uh, they're excited. They're starting to cheer. They're hoping to see warm ups very soon. Uh, so the energy level is rising, but I know it's going. It's all going on outside this building. Doug Cameron is standing by Doug. Oh, hey guys, lovely to be down here. I just said lovely to be down at the Caps game. I don't know if you can call it lovely. It is awesome playoff hockey. And I'll tell you guys, you know, for this being game two, I was at game one, a little bit of a disappointment. I know uh, this game is going to be a, a little bit better, I think, going into it. A lot of excitement down here tonight. It was nail biting a uh, game one, but good news, we're in weather. We love stats. So good weather stat when the Caps are behind yep. in the second series. 10 wins, six losses. So the odds are in their favor tonight if we're going to be looking at odds. And so we got it. You can see the crowds down here, guys. I mean, you know, we still got an hour to game time. A lot of people down here tonight. A lot of people excited to go. She's excited. I don't know where her seats are, but she's excited to go. And I'll tell you guys, just coming down here, you can feel it an hour away. The amount of people that are, are normally at a game an hour early, yeah, not, not quite like this. Tonight, it's going to be a lot of fun, I can tell you. And, and, and I got my ticket. You got your ticket? I'm working. Yes. That's why you're at the game. That's right. That's right. Yes. <laughs> so, but you know, we were talking about storms today. Thankfully, we've yeah. stayed dry. The radar's looking dry right now. 84 degrees. We're in the 80s for the next few hours. Then we're dipping into the 70s. Tomorrow, guys, temperatures all over the place. We were talking about that. 70 north of town, low 80s here in D.C., and then near 90 south. Yeah. But, I mean, who cares? It's all about rocking the red. The caps right now, so exciting. I know. And you were right about the T-shirt. I really want to wear my T-shirt right now, but I don't have a T-shirt. Yeah, well, so i got to get that. Nice job. It's a little warm. It's a little warm, but it's not bad. we got a nice breeze. We'll send it back inside you guys. Hey, hey, Doug uh, Cameron, uh, let, let me get that really good impersonation of the Capitals' foghorn. Let me get that three times. Let's go, Caps! Oh, 
not yet. <laughs> By the end of this hour, I promise you, they'll be here. <laughs> and we want to hear that a lot tonight. All that's right. for sure. Man, you're making me hot in that long sleeve shirt. Thanks, guys. Right, see we'll you in a check bit. in with you in a bit. All Up right. next, the voice of the Capitol. Yeah, John Walton is going to join us from the Verizon Center. When the puck drops, uh, we.